Hello, welcome to yoga, relaxation and meditation lesson number five. I'm Sarah. So these sessions are suitable for students and anyone who would like to learn how we can use yoga and specifically breathing practices and meditation to help us to recognize when we're feeling stress, how we can cope with it and how we can generally reduce stress and anxiety. So we're going to carry on using the themes we've been looking at over the past four sessions and developing them further. We'll be practicing for about 15 minutes again today. So if you want to take your seated position on the mat, remembering that we're looking for comfort in our seated position. If we can't find comfort, we won't be able to maintain our focus. Our mind will get distracted towards the part of our body that's causing us discomfort. And this isn't a competition to try and stay in one place for the whole of the 15 minutes. We are going to move to lying down again um, during part of this lesson. And remember that you can move around. You know, you can wiggle around on your sit bones. You can come forwards, backwards, sitting in a rigid position is not going to help you to relax and release the tension out of your body. So just to remind you that in our seated position we're looking for our hips to be higher than our knees and then we can find those natural curves in the back. The spine isn't straight, it's got curves. So we're looking for the building blocks of the spine to be stacked one on top of the other as they should be, not forcing them into a false alignment. And if we can find the natural curves in the back, then we can start to find comfort and we can relax. And then we can stay in one position, but it doesn't matter if you can't. If you need to move, please do move. Okay. So if you haven't already, I'd like you to start to take nice slow deep breaths in and out through your nose and take your focus to counting your breath. So over these past four sessions you sort of started to gain some kind of idea of the kind of count that is normal for you but that can vary day to day Don't hang on to any ideas about how long you think your breath should be. It is what it is. And as you settle, you'll probably find that the breath lengthens naturally without you having to force it. If you haven't already closed your eyes, you might like to just helps to take away anything around us that we can see that might be a distraction. Because what we're trying to do is maintain our focus on our breath. It doesn't matter what speed you're counting at, although obviously a fast count isn't very conducive to feeling relaxed. And just over the next few breaths, every time you breathe out, just try to allow the shoulders to slide a little down your back. a little bit further, allowing the shoulders to slide away. Shoulders are where we often hold a lot of tension and they kind of crept up closer to our ears without us even realising. Particularly if we're sitting for long periods of time at a desk or a computer. You can be resting your hands on your knees or your thighs or in your lap, wherever feels comfortable. And do remember that if you need to change seated position, you can 
change the crossover of your legs and change legs so the other one's in front or you could start kneeling or you could just sit with your legs straight out in front of you you can lean against a wall or a cupboard or the sofa or your bed and then each time you move you just allow yourself to settle back in and take your focus back to your breath again like you to turn your focus to now is the natural pause between the in-breath and the out-breath. You will notice that as your in-breath rolls into your out-breath there is a small pause. We're not trying to hold the breath or retain the breath, we're not looking for it to be of any length, we're just noticing what happens between the in-breath and the out-breath. And if you want to keep counting, you can do, or if you want to let go of your count and just focus on that pause, that point where your in-breath moves into your out breath. So whether you're counting or not, it doesn't matter. Whatever suits you best. Sometimes I find once I've started counting, it's difficult to let it go. Now remember the minute that your attention moves away from your breath, it's the noticing that's important. If your mind begins to chatter to you, whatever that may be about, remember that it's the mind's job to think, reason and feel. The mind helps us to be creative, helps us with our imagination. But sometimes, when there are things that are bothering us, the mind can start to chatter away. And that's not always helpful. So noticing that that's happening, that you're being carried away on a train of thought that isn't helpful isn't making you feel good and just taking a few moments out a few breaths practicing a little bit of yoga some breath practice that can help us to feel better so after your next out breath I'd like you to come down to lying on your mat and you can place a cushion or a blanket underneath your head if you need to or you can just lie straight down on the mat so the knees will be bent with the feet flat on the mat the hands can either be resting on the belly or on the ground at the side of you palms facing up or down whatever feels right for you and just check that your shoulders are away from your ears and relax onto the mat. Lift up your toes and check you're not gripping the mat with your toes. And then once you've settled down, take your focus back to your breath again. Back to that point where the in-breath becomes the out-breath. That small natural pause. You 
can count if you want to or not, whatever feels right for you. We're not looking for that pause to be of any length at all, it's just that natural point where in-breath becomes out-breath. Feeling the rise of the chest, the expansion with the in-breath and that small pause. As the breath moves into exhaling, breathing out and feeling the chest lowering belly, the sense of release and relaxation, the heaviness of the body against the ground, against the mat. Once again, noticing your mind has wandered away from where you are and what you're doing. And even if that happens over and over again, it doesn't matter. You just notice that that's what's happened and take your focus back to your breath, and back to the pause where that in breath becomes out breath. So I'm just going to be quiet now for a couple of minutes and allow you to just continue. All the while focusing on that pause. Focusing on the point, the sensations as your in breath turns into your out breath. One breath to the next. Now I'd like you to just return to a natural relaxed breath, a breath that you're not focusing on. And you can slide your legs away from you and reach your arms above your head and take a full body stretch. You can point your toes away from you and then push through your heels, toes pointing up to the ceiling. And then I'd suggest you roll over onto your side and just Pause for a moment. Before you come up to seated. And that brings our session for today to a close. If you have any questions or would like um, any information about live personal or bespoke yoga, then please do feel free to get in touch with me. My contact details should be at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I look forward to seeing you again soon.